So we're gonna get this bearing changed on this lever unit today. Should be a fun one. Let's get to it. So we've got the pulley off and we've cleaned up the shaft and we've sprayed it with some lubricant. We're gonna let that rest in there for a little bit before we try to pull that bearing off. So I should have used the socket to get the bolts out. It would have been a lot easier. I didn't bring one up. I used a uh, three quarter inch wrench and uh, an adjustable. But it would have been much easier if I brought a socket up. But by the time I walked down on my truck, through the building, past security and all that, I would have had these off anyway. So I just decided to go at it. But if you guys are gonna do these, much easier if you bring up a socket set. So one thing you may have noticed, and you can kind of see it there, the shaft is hollow. So in order to use a puller, like this one, to remove the bearing, we can't have a hollow shaft because our bolt's just gonna go right through the shaft. So in past, I've used some really uh, hard washers, doubled them up, but if the bearing's really seized on there, the washers start to buckle. So I found the best trick Put an adjustable wrench in between the puller and the shaft i got the uh the, the metal end of the we got an insulated wrench here but this is uh this is the metal side and this usually works very very well to pull it off now my puller here has kind of been used and abused and it's out of center so i might struggle a bit just to get this off because i'm going to have to recenter it every few minutes but this is a good way to um, get your your bearing off by using this to just plug the hole in the shaft. So my rig went well with the wrench. It came off pretty easy. Now we're at the point where we want to tighten these set screws. Now there's two of them. So what I suggest we do is we tighten them up, but then we back them out and we tighten them again. And we do this a few times and that creates a little seat or an indentation in the shaft where that set screw can rest in. And what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna use a little bit of Loctite because I've had, I've had cases in the past where these bearings come loose on these specific units. So this is a, a medium strength Loctite 242 and I'm just gonna put a touch on there just to make sure that this bearing and this shot goes nowhere because this thing moves a lot of air and we can't have this coming loose.
so that's it everything's back together belts are on adjusted they're aligned the pulleys on with the hub bearings on nice and tight set screws are in so now it's time to test this and clean this area up that's it guys happy hvacking